Today, I got a box full of vintage sealed Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I have this box that you guys just saw and inside there's some pretty cool packs, but before that we do have a giveaway. I will be giving away this first edition Pharaonic Guardian Blister Pack. Yeah, might be an allusion to what you're gonna see later, but you guys can win this. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think. We're gonna see, give me your guesses. We're also gonna do a little bit of opening in this video as well, so stay tuned. Here is the box. Inside this box, we bought a few items. Let's see if I can get these out. Uh, it's a very large box. These flaps are going everywhere, so we're gonna try not to hit anything. All right, inside of this box, we have, check it out. Pharaonic Guardian Blister Packs. A little bit bent on this one. We will see how the condition is. I don't really know because I just bought a bunch of them. In ancient Egypt, it is a force so powerful it had to be locked away for millennia. Now one boy has released its power. It's time to duel. You guys have seen and heard that many a time. Pretty epic though. That's first edition blister. Yeah, you guys can win one of these. Don't forget that. We have, uh, yeah, another one. This one looks to be in a little bit better condition. Not like bent or anything. Very nice. Okay. We have another one, very beautiful. This one is, oh, this one is bent as well. So we've got, got a little bit of bending going on on some of these, but uh, we are gonna open, I think, possibly a couple of these. We'll try and find the most damaged ones and open those up. This one also has a little bit of a bend going on, but still pretty pretty nice overall. I mean, they're not perfect. Maybe I should separate them based on which ones have bends. All right, so uh, this one looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit bent compared to the other ones though. It's not bad at all, pretty nice. We'll put that in the nicer column here. I'm gonna put that on the right. This one does have a pretty significant bend there, but overall still pretty nice. Oh yeah, that one has a bottom corner bend as well, but even these, okay, that one's, that one's creased. Okay, that one's got a crease. Even the ones that have like damage though still look pretty good, like overall pretty solid. I mean, they got like a little bit, but not really too crazy. Still pretty, pretty decent condition on these blisters. You love to see these old school blisters. I mean, you these these used to be for sale for like three and four dollars, if you guys can believe that. It's pretty insane. But now they are quite a bit more expensive than that. And by the way, a lot of these will be for sale on Ruxin34.com. You know, the ones that we don't actually open up. So check out Ruxin34.com if you guys are interested in that. I also have some other stuff like uh, sealed tins and stuff like that if you guys want to check that out and purchase those. Appreciate if you guys do that. All right, here we have, um, okay, a little bend going there. I mean, overall, these are still all in pretty nice shape, even if they are a little bit bent up. That one's pretty good. Yeah, and by the way, the total number of blisters we bought, we bought 19 Pharaonic Guardian blisters. So we bought a decent amount of these. Uh, some will be open in this video, probably like two maybe. I also have a few other non-blister packs, by the way, right here, which we will be opening. We have Labyrinth of Nightmare. We have three, four Pharaonic Guardian loose packs. So we've got four of those, and then we can open a couple of blisters as well. Oh, check this out, guys. Misprint blister. They put it in upside down. No way. This is actually insane. I bet somebody really, really would want this. So if you guys are interested in a misprint blister, this one is definitely not getting open because that's insane. That's awesome. It was, it was put in the wrong way. That's you love to see that. That's always really cool. Yeah, that that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild, actually. That's super cool. Okay, that one's going off to the side. Okay, that's pretty insane. We got a misprint blister. We have um, nice regular old blister. This one's in great shape though. Very solid shape. Wow, I can't believe that. That's actually wild. If you guys remember when we got that double blister out of Legend of Blue Eyes, this Legend of Blue Eyes blister with two packs in it. It was crazy. I'll try and pop that video up. It's pretty old at this point, but it was wild. It's crazy how some of those things we did was like two years ago at this point, guys. Okay. That one's got a bend for sure. I mean, checking out these, but they look all it's you can shine on the front, and the back has no shine. So this one's like a little bit, a little bit something going on there. Um, but overall, these are in pretty solid shape. I mean, definitely decent shipping too, which is always nice to see with blisters. Cause if you don't ship these correctly, like they'll they'll literally get bent or fall out of the packaging on the way there. And uh it's it's kind of sketch. So pretty nice overall though. Pretty nice stuff. Okay, now it's time to open up some packs. We also are gonna open some blisters. Two of these packs are like sealed very tightly, like around the edges. So I don't know really what's going on. Like they feel a little bit weird. Like this Labyrinth of Nightmare, is it just me or does it look weird? I feel like it looks weird. So hopefully it's not like fake or anything, but we'll find out, I guess, because we're about to open it up. Let's start off with an unlimited Pharaonic Guardian. By the way, we just recently opened up a hobby box of this for a box break. Go check that live video out if you guys haven't already, because um, the pulls are pretty good, I would say. It was a pretty decent box, uh, pretty fun to open. So if you guys want to see more Pharaonic Guardian after this, you guys can go see it there. We got the Hieroglyph Lithograph. Can we pull a Metamorphosis? Can we pull, you know, uh, Trap Dust Shoot, stuff like that? Cobra Man Kaza Sakuzi. Sakuzi? It, this just sounds weird. I don't think I'm saying it right. Curse of Aging. Pyramid Energy. A man with a Widgeot. I want to pull 
the Nonzalug. My favorite card in this set, I think. Um, Dark Coffin in terms of the foils. We got the Charm of Shabti. Pyramid Turtle, another one of my favorites. Pyramid Turtle is an awesome card for uh, goat decks, reaper decks, stuff like that. Really solid rare pull. We're definitely taking that. So many good rares in this set. Let's see what else we can pull. Can we get that ultra rare Don, the Don Zalu? He's pretty good, man. He's a pretty good card in goat format. Ripping cards out of people's hands. Very solid card. So I would love to get that one. Okay, can we get a foil? We got the Des Lakuda. We'll take anything, of course. So we now have two Des Lakuda, which is, of course, the... Uh, the Pac-Man, the, what is it, munching all noobs? <laughs> okay, card shuffle. We got the Gravekeeper's Vassal. Needle wall, very cool. Pyramid energy. The Arsenal Bug, 2K attack, but, uh, you know, there's no face of insect monsters on the field. Becomes a 1,000, so not that good. Pyro Clock of Destiny, if you're trying to run them out with Final Countdown, you need this card. Cobra Man, Sakuzi, we're going to go with that. And... Oh, an Ultra Rare, great. Dizard, unfortunately not... Not the ultra we're looking for, but it is the Great Desard, which you guys have heard this nickname many a times if you guys have watched Old Simply Unlucky, but we're not saying it anymore because, you know. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep it up. Three packs to go. Three packs, and then, of course, we're going to open a blister or two. So we got a few packs to go. This is an old school opening, so I hope you guys are uh, enjoying it. We love old school, of course, around here. I know you guys. I know you guys. You guys like old school, just like me. So let's see what we can get. Great viewer prescription. We've got Call of the Mummy. Your Mummy. We've got the uh, Chewbacca. We've got Karma of Shabti with a little bit of stuff going on there. A little bit of ding at the top, too. Definitely not great condition. Ordeal of a Traveler. Wow. I feel like I have not pulled this card in a long time out of Pharaonic Guardian. We just opened an entire box. I don't know if I pulled this card. Ordeal of a Traveler. Wild card. Dark Snake Syndrome. Royal Keeper. We've got the Needle Selling. This card was pretty crazy in Duel Links with certain burn decks. We have... A Poison Mummy, okay. And... A little bit of a ding right there as well. Unless that's the next card. No, it's that card. And... Doc Designate. Man, what is all this junk on the top? Look at this. That's wild. It looks destroyed. I mean, what is all that? This card is absolutely destroyed. What in the world happened here? Look at that. It looks like, I don't know, it looks played almost. Yeah, that is that is insane. Okay, so that, that card looks whack. I don't know if it was like resealed or if it just got a weird print, but I don't know. We got a Ferran and Guardian. I mean, it's weird because like the other ones, we pulled a foil. So these all came from like the same place, but like, I don't know where he got them from. So maybe they, he didn't got them from somewhere else or something like that. This one, look at this. You see this? How it's wrapped around the edge because it's supposed to be bigger. You think this was like a resealed pack? Let's check it. Um, okay, it's really hard to tell on resealed, like, if actually anything happened, but sometimes you can, it can be a little suspicious, and if, as you can tell, it was supposed to be a wider pack, and it wrapped around like this. Sometimes they do that in the factory, though, so we've seen a lot of weird stuff today. We've got an upside-down blister, we've got a really, like, messed up rare right out of the pack, and then we've got a pack that's, okay, this is also going too far to the right, so maybe they just, like, shifted the pack wrong when they printed it, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just open it up and see if there's like a <laughs> secret rare in here that I guess we can we can call it and say it was just a factory error. But let's see. That's basically the only way we can settle this by pulling a secret rare. So let's do it. We've got the giant axe mummy, D tribe, charm of Shabti, banner of courage, Teuton mask, a royal keeper, the different dimension capsule, Muga's yoke, and we have. Gravekeeper's Watcher. All right, just the Watcher. He's gravekeeping. At least this time it is in decent shape. There is some scuffing on the back, but that comes out well. There's some scratches on this card, too. So, I don't know. 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 Let me know what you guys think. It's probably fine. It's probably just the normal pack, but you never know. Could have been sketch. Who knows? Let's check the rest of the cards in this pack. Let's see. So, the back on these. I mean, these are scuff like this all the time out of Pharaonic Guardian, so it's really hard to tell. The pack before that, which was also, you know, had the Dark Designator. There was, oh my goodness, look at the back of that one. I mean, that's wild. Uh, it's all scuffing, though. So, like, that could, look at that scuffing, though. Like, that's insane. That is insane. Like, look at that. The entire card is destroyed. So, this was either, like, a horrible print run, like, horrible, horrible, or this was, like, a resealed pack. It's really hard to tell, though, but, like, Pharaonic Guardian often is really, really disgusting in terms of the print. Like, it's just really bad. But I've never seen one that bad. So I don't know because it's not from a sealed box, you know, what the deal is. And then the front, you know, look at all these cards. We got dings everywhere. This does this just feels like a resealed pack to me. It could it could not be. I could be wrong. But 
Uh, it's really hard to tell because like with reseals, it's like it can appear to be resealed and it's not really because like the factory just sucked back then, you know, and stuff. I mean, even now sometimes, but you know, you never really know. So uh, yeah, we, we did get an ultra rare though. So I, I, some one of them wasn't <laughs> resealed, I guess. You know what? Let's check this. Let's check this card out. We never checked the condition. Let's make sure it's in good shape. Okay. The back, there is a ding on this card. Um, Pretty bad scuffing. But as I said, Pharaonic Guardian. I mean, you really can't tell. Like, there's a ding right there. It's like, is that pack fresh or is it not? The front looks great. So I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know if it is or not. Okay, let's just move on here. We have Labyrinth of Nightmares. So this is our last thing. Uh, this one also, if it's a little bit sketched, then maybe there is something going on. Okay, that ripped uh, off of there, which sometimes can be weird, but also can sometimes be normal. It feel, this just feels weird. Like, something about this pack feels weird. I don't know. Oh, look. Okay, we've got a ding. Well, let's do a little detective work here. Oh, I know what this is. This is one from the uh, the Tactical Evolution. That's what it is. So, you can tell because it feels like a Euro Euro card. It's like really kind of slimy. Okay, so we got the Rock Spirit. This is definitely from that. So, the one where there's two Tactical Evolution packs and then there's a Lab of the Nightmare pack. It's like a blister pack. Um, this is where this is from. Look at that. That had the worst print run ever. So, this is probably just a normal pack uh bait doll dancing fairy let's see if we can pull something soul of purity and light the scroll of bewitchment supply all right there we go deal of phantom these feel so weird like that's how i know exactly where they're from because they're so weird wait soul of purity and light did we already pull that we pulled two of those in the same pack look at this okay this has been a very strange opening today guys very weird We're not even opening a lot of packs oh and a mask of the accursed we got a super rare out of here yeah i figured this was normal it's just uh just a weird pack, but there's also a lot. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Okay, Labyrinth of Nightmare is not known for this kind of scuffing. And that scratches too. I have a feeling that these are resealed packs and they just like put like a random mod play hollow in there. I don't know though. Like it doesn't really matter because like I got these from a guy that I'm pretty sure got them from somewhere else. And it doesn't really matter that much. Like, I'm not, like, gonna die because these are resealed. It's just interesting to see. Like, I've never seen an Ella Win card come out like this. And you guys can see the scratches. Like, the scuffing is is from factory. But the scratches like this, those are not factory. You don't see that come out of a factory. Like, that looks like someone took the card and went, you know, like that. And it got some scratches. Or they played it. They You know, they've used it before. Or it's rubbed against other cards like this. Um, that's what that looks like. And... The scuffing can be like naturally from the pack, but this I don't think is so very interesting, very interesting opening today. We're not even done yet. We're going to open a blister pack. We know those aren't resealed. Well, and we hope they're not. They, I guess they technically could be, but I think we would have noticed. All right, that odd opening, just a weird opening we got going here. So we're going to open one of these. It's like pretty bent up. I think this is a good one, a good candidate. So we're going to save the, you know, the best condition ones for people that want to buy and potentially keep them in their seal collection and make sure to check out ruxin 34com if you guys are interested in that. Uh, link in the description if you don't know how to get there this is first edition we're pretty sure that this is not resealed so maybe we got a chance at a hollow that's not like you know scratched all over the place let's see what we can pull i i, don't, I can't believe like how this opening like just weird stuff over and over I and mean, then that's kind of okay yeah uh, it's it's still getting weird this i don't even know i feel like i just need to put like weird in the title of this video because look at this this is insane mucus yolk charm of shot i've never seen like two cards like that so two cards and then it's flipped all the way around. So do we just go like this? So where's the hollow? I'm not even going to try a pack trick. we got the Cabazals. That's wild. Card shuffle and shuffling our cards in the blister. Pretty crazy. A cloth Scorpion. Is it going to be next? Is there going to be a foil? Is there going to be a Lava Golem? Come on. Swarm of Scarabs. And look, the Pharaonic Guardian printing, it's like they curl up on the edges. You guys can see, look, even on legit ones, there's some of that scuffing. But you can see there's no scratching. There's not like those vertical scratches. No, horizontal scratches, I guess. Uh, swarm, of swarm of scarabs. No, I said Shabti. Try to say that. Oh, and a Book of Moon. That thing's way off-centered. Ultra rare. Mucus Yolk and Charm of Shabti. So here's what a pack fresh card looks like. So nice front. Back is, I mean, honestly, pretty clean on here. Okay, a little bit of like something going on up here. But as you see, there's scuffing, some scuffing, but no scratches. Scratches are what kind of gives it away as ha having been played or like shuffled around and stuff like that before. All right, let's do one more. This is just a weird opening. Don't forget you guys can win one of these first edition blisters, which you don't have to worry about those being resealed. Um, let's open this up and in this strange video, I mean, honestly, pretty, pretty weird. I mean, I haven't had a weird opening like this in a while, so kind of interesting, actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. More old school openings, more weird stuff like this in the future, probably at some point. Oh, what is happening on these cards? Wait a second. You guys see that? That card is dinged right in the middle. 
Wait, or maybe it's not. I can't tell. Wait, no, maybe it, maybe that was just... I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. Okay, Curse of Aging. Yomi ship. Just, there can't be a normal pack today. We've got the Giant Axe Mummy. You'll love to see that. Gravekeeper's Vassal. That was in Duel Links. The Impachi Shape Snatch. Oh, there he is. A bow tie with horrible powers. It attacks an opponent by controlling others. Oh, yeah. It just hops on you. Controls you with a bow tie. We've got a Needle Ceiling. Very cool. I still haven't seen that ding yet. Royal Keeper. Oh, and a Lava Gold! dude no way is this the ding card i don't see a ding well our luck with lava golem is insane i pulled like four lava golems i've never pulled ring of destruction that is nuts dude and that card is in nice condition oh my goodness a little bit off centered as usual they're always off centered every time i've pulled one but oh my goodness what a way to end the weirdest video i've had in quite a while uh also an upside down blister i mean just crazy stuff today lava golem well, we know that one's not resealed. He'd love to see that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.